You know, music is a trade. It's something that if you want to embark on that, you have to learn the trade of music. You have to learn the nitty gritties of it because music compares of compositions, arrangements, performances and all that. If any of the younger generation wants to embark into music, he has to learn the rudiments of music. He has to learn the cadences of music. So that will arm him to be able to put whatever that God has endowed him into music. These days, everything is computerized. Um, bass lines, guitar lines, and everything is all computerized. But those who did all these things, they are not Africans, they are Europeans. So when they do that, they put their European forms of music into these uh, um, uh, computers. But we from Africa, where big music began, we need to take all these things, turn it around, and let the world know our identity, what we have here. Because in music, identification is very, very, very important. If you go to Jamaica, they know that they have reggae, they have um, the dance hall. If you go to South America, they know that they have salsa. If you go to America, they know that they have raps and jazz music and all that. So if you come to Ghana in West Africa, what is our identification? It is the high life music. So if they want to come, we mustn't forget that we are people of different tribes and every tribe has this form of music. So if I'm from the north, I must be able to portray what we have over there. There are many ways that you can make them international. That doesn't mean that you have to discard what you have and follow what is coming from Europe or America. No, you have to use what you got to get what you need.